Hello there, people of the universe. My name is Mike's Fi, and welcome back to a brand new Doctor Who video. Now, before we get started, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have left positive feedback on the TARDIS tier list. I was really proud of how that video came out, but as well, the Bovis Mystery Part 1 and 2. If you guys enjoyed the sketches, fear not, more are coming in the future. One that's being edited right now, but spoilers i'm really excited for future ones and yeah hopefully you guys are too but as we get into this video i just want to give you a bit of context behind the idea now me and lucy yesterday were watching doctor who series 4 the sontaran stratagem because we we're in the middle of doing a new series rewatch now obviously at this point martha jones is a full-on doc full-on doctor martha donna donna martha please don't fight i can't bear fighting something lucy pointed out was obviously at the end of series 3 she leaves that life behind and then i said to be fair at the end of series 3 martha could have stayed with the doctor gone off and then come back and her family would have been none the wiser no time would have passed for them to be worried or because she says oh what happened with the master i can't leave them now obviously as well in martha's personal character arc she needs to walk away which is fine but obviously in terms of the laws of the tardis if her family and what they went through was her only reason to stay they could just go off and she'd come back and no time would have passed and they wouldn't have known Obviously, narratively, it makes more sense that because for the companion and for us, time will have passed, which is why in Lazarus' experiment, which is meant to be the morning after Smith and Jones, her mum says, oh, you saw me last night. But for Martha, she's felt that passage of time. So she wouldn't feel right about going off. Um, so narratively, it makes more sense, which is why in series one, Rose has been gone 12 hours. No. 12 months and then obviously parting of the ways when she goes off and then comes back at christmas time has passed again it's not so much the tire is not working right my driving is impeccable but as well narratively it does just it's better now with that context in mind sorry it was a long explanation but stay with me if you can stay with me we go to here which is series five the 11th hour i'll just play a little bit for you not too much because of copyright well i just saved the world the whole planet for about the millionth time, no charge. Yeah, shoot me, I kept the clothes. But obviously, this is night time. This is the night before her wedding. Then, let's jump to the Vampires of Venice. Or, just by the way, I'm a uh, little Mandela effect. Does anybody remember, in the promotion to Series 5, this episode being referred to as Vampires in Venice, not the Vampires of Venice? Do anyone remember that? I'm going to play a bit of this. Now, bear in mind, the lighting for the pub. Okay, really quick, not him saying seven hours. The lighting of this shot. Is it night time? Is it early evening? I don't know, but keep going. And even if we weren't getting married tomorrow, I'd ask you to marry me anyway. Yes, I would. Okay, he says tomorrow. So it is the day before his wedding. Now, it could be around the same time in the evening. And the reason the answer machine is because Amy's obviously off in the TARDIS. Or she could be asleep. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm, I'm going on the lighting and the tomorrow thing. Blah, 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 blah. This stag do is the day before his wedding. Okay. Amy leaves in the TARDIS the night before the wedding. So it's the same day. But he's in, like, say, we'll say about four in the afternoon. Amy, it's about 11 o'clock at night. So there are, there are a few hours gap. Now, the thing that I noticed when saying about the TARDIS and all you can leave, come back, all that, is if we go to after titles, Amy and Rory are in the TARDIS together, okay? But, oh, God, God oh, that, is a, that is a frame. <laughs> Amy is from the night before the wedding, Rory in the timeline is the day before. So it's only a few hours, but technically they are not synced up in their timeline because surely if my thingies of when Rory Stagdo is are correct, that means at that exact point, there is another Amy. And for, um, for Amy, when she was the night before, her Rory is passed out, drunk, hungover, whatever. It's maybe a good thing that this lunatic blew up the universe and reset it not because of the crack and oh the end of everything in the pandorica no it's because he balls up the timeline and amy and rory are seven hours out of sync so yeah that really is the, this video we we're watching it talking about the tardis and the the narrative reason why it makes sense for it not to land perfectly because it just adds weight and it, it makes sense 
Uh, I then came to the conclusion of Series 5. So, what do you guys think? It's it's very likely the stag do is meant to take place that same evening going by the lighting of the shot of Amy's dress. But then, there's just things that make me think, hang on, I don't know. Chances are, it's not that serious. It's maybe like a tiny... Well, not a plot hole, but a tiny thing that you're not meant to focus on. No one's going to pick up on. I just did and thought it was really interesting and made me go, hang about. This could be a video because I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm sure someone's going to say, oh, there's this part in another episode of Series 5 where they confirm that no, Rory Stagdu was during the evening while Amy was asleep or at home. So at the worst, there's maybe an hour out of sync, but... Yeah, either way, what do you guys think? Hopefully you didn't mind this much more shorter, compact style of video, but I wanted to talk about it and it's any excuse to talk about Doctor Who. So, yeah. All that said, thank you guys for watching. Be kind, be good to one another, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons. Yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm repping. I'm a living legend